the money's being borrowed. We borrow the money from China to send it to Ukraine. In 2021, Zelensky fired multiple government officials, including his prime minister, for investigating a Ukraine oligarch who just happened to be a key backer of Zelensky's presidential campaign. The United States placed sanctions on this oligarch for his involvement in significant corruption, and earlier this month, he was finally arrested. Clearly, Ukraine and the regime are not paragons of democracy. But this is not just about what Ukraine is or is not with respect to government. This is about American interests and our national security. Every day this war continues is another spin of the roulette wheel with another chance of it stopping on Armageddon. And we are paying for the privilege. We cannot continue with business as usual. We cannot continue to put the needs of other countries above our own. We cannot save Ukraine by dooming the U.S. economy. And we certainly cannot save Ukraine by fighting a war with Russia. As we go further and further into debt, we become weaker. It's not just that this is not helping our national security. The very threat to our national security is our debt. The more we send money overseas, the more we deplete our munitions, the worse things get. No matter how sympathetic we are to the Ukrainian people, we must put the American people first. And to that end, I encourage my colleagues to oppose any effort to hold the federal government hostage for Ukraine funding.